Welcome back. I got a special treat for us. I got a listener question. So let me play this voicemail and we're gonna jump into it. Hey Delaney, I've started working a bunch of nights recently and a ton of the folks I'm working with have been using these nicotine pouches on shift. Uh, you know, our, our charge nurse swears that these can be performance enhancers, but I'm worried about some of these potential risks that can come from using these things. What do you think? Have you heard of these? So two things, uh, number one, Come on, man, you're using these. You're gonna throw the chargers under the bus. I get it, it's fine, nicotine pouches. So are nicotine pouches good? Should we use them? I got this thing and I was like, what in the world is a nicotine pouch? So I Googled it. We're talking Zins, baby. So these products are everywhere. And in fact, if you look, Zins is the trade name for one of these products, but it accounts for over 80% of the nicotine pouches in the market. So that's what we're talking about. Should we use nicotine pouches, which if you're gonna buy them, they're called Zins. So to get into should we use these, let's look at what these actually are. So these are little pouches, kind of think of it as a tea bag that you put in your cheek. When you look at what's inside of these, there's a bunch of junk. So there's fillers, there's pH stabilizers. Some of these are flavored, but the real bang for your buck when it comes to the Zins, to the nicotine pouches is gonna be nicotine salt. If you look at the dosing, Zins typically come in three milligram or six milligram pouches. Now, I know folks will put three or four in there, but your basic dose is three to six milligrams. If you look at how much nicotine's in a cigarette, it's about 10 to 14 milligrams. So there's a little less nicotine than you would normally get in a cigarette, but again, people will double up on these. So I think the real heart of the question here is, is this a bad thing for us to do? And I think it's easy to say nicotine is bad, nicotine is dangerous, we shouldn't use nicotine. Because if you look, if you Google, is nicotine good or bad, overwhelmingly we're gonna see stuff that says nicotine is bad, don't use nicotine. I dug a little deeper to try to get to why is nicotine bad? And it's interesting, so since the 1600s, nicotine was used as an insecticide. And in fact, it was pretty popular as an insecticide until after World War II. And at that point, they developed new insecticides and actually said, let's move away from nicotine because it's too dangerous for mammals. And in fact, the Environmental Protection Agency has banned the use of nicotine in the US as an insecticide because it, at its core, it's a poisonous substance. Now, these pouches and even cigarettes aren't using the amount of nicotine you need to get some toxicity from it, but still, the general consensus is that, hey, nicotine probably isn't good. It has this history of being a poison, but it's interesting. If we push past the first level, the risks of nicotine are a little less clear. In fact, most studies would say nicotine is not considered a carcinogen. So cigarettes cause cancer, but does nicotine itself actually pose a risk to us? We'll circle back to that. But the bigger question here, and, and I think this was in the voicemail, was is there a benefit potentially to using nicotine? If you'd asked me this a year ago, I'd say absolutely not. Stay away from it. There's no need to use nicotine. But if we look at the studies, it's interesting. So consistently, if you take nicotine, it does a couple things. Alertness goes up. It's obviously a performance enhancer. In multiple studies across multiple populations have found that if you use nicotine, your fine motor skills go up, your response time goes down, and various aspects of our memory actually become enhanced. There's an interesting study that looked at baseball players who use nicotine, and they found that they're actually better at baseball. So there is a strong argument to be made that we don't make often that nicotine is a performance enhancer. So there's a potential plus side there, and especially if you're working a bunch of nights, I'm all for something that's gonna make those nights a little bit easier. But what are the risks? So if we look at the totality of the evidence, nicotine is probably orders of magnitude safer than cigarettes. And we've got some good studies that have looked at these nicotine pouches and said specifically, are there things in the pouches that are gonna do bad things to us? And the important thing is that when you look at most of the pouches on the market, there are no nitrosamines or hydrocarbons. And those are the things that are really bad that are associated with higher rates of cancer in cigarettes. So the pouches, other than having this nicotine salt, don't really have anything else in there that would potentially cause a problem. If we look at the risks of nicotine alone, which really is what you're getting if you're using one of these pouches, there's this debate about does it actually cause atherosclerosis? There are some studies that say yes, there are some studies that say maybe, there are some studies that say no. So that's not clear. But what is clear is that nicotine will bump your heart rate up and bump your blood pressure up. And the kind of impact that nicotine has is generally if you take a dose like three to six milligrams, your systolic blood pressure will go up five to 10 millimeters of mercury, your heart rate will go up five to 10 beats per minute. So it's not that that's not significant in some patient populations, but for the average person, that bump in your blood pressure, that bump in your heart rate probably is gonna make no impact on you either short-term or long-term. 
When we're talking about the risks of nicotine, I think it's important to bring in another stimulant. In fact, one of the most popular stimulants in the world, one that I would suggest a lot of us have dependency issues with. I'm talking about caffeine, right? So all of the things that nicotine does, increase alertness, increase fine motor performance. We see the same impact with caffeine. When we look at the risks of caffeine, we don't typically think of it as being dangerous, but it does the same thing that nicotine does. It'll bump up your blood pressure, it'll bump up your heart rate, about the same amount that you get nicotine. So with nicotine, you're gonna get a little increased sympathetic surge, but also with caffeine. So where does that leave us? This, this is a tricky question, because when I first heard the voicemail, my easy answer was gonna be, don't use nicotine pouches, there's no upside. Where can we settle out on this? So the thing that we need to be really clear about is we don't know if these pouches are safe long-term. We just, they haven't been on the market long enough. Their popularity is really soaring right now. So we don't know if it's safe to use these pouches, but if we break it down, the science that we have right now tells us that nicotine in isolation, like you're getting in these pouches, is probably similar to other stimulants. If you're drinking coffee every morning, you could make an argument that using a nicotine salt, using one of these pouches, is gonna give you a similar impact in the side effects, feeling jittery, heart rate up, blood pressure up. Those are gonna be pretty similar in those two groups. I think where I kind of settle out on this, it's, it's more of a philosophical question. If you need a performance enhancer, I understand that. But I think you gotta kind of think about, is this something you wanna include in your life? Is there a benefit to becoming dependent on a substance? Because we know caffeine can be addictive. If you don't have caffeine for a couple days, you feel horrible. We know that nicotine can lead to addiction, lead to dependency. So the risk of nicotine in isolation doesn't seem to be that great. The benefit seems to be it's there. It's not huge. It's similar to what we see with coffee. But if anybody's thinking, hey, I need something to get over the hurdle for the next night shift, could nicotine pouches be the answer? Sure, but I would just caution anybody before they throw on another potentially addictive substance into their daily lives. This is Hippo Education.